On-site collection. You have to collect healthy seeds when you collect seeds of the species that you have selected. This requires a pre-check of precise categorization, maturity, and the amount of seeds you want to collect. Seed collection includes collecting seeds of the targeted species along with confirmation samples, then the recording of field notes, an image and sound data, sorting the targeted plants, selecting healthy seeds, checking their maturity, evaluating their quality, and determining the amount of seeds collected. Targeted Plants Identification You need to precisely identify targeted species to collect seeds. You should fully understand in advance the main characteristics to categorize targeted species using a plant book, search table, plant sample, and image and sound data. In addition, you can be accompanied and advised by experts. And if you didn't categorize the sample on site, you need to categorize it after returning from the field. Confirmation of Plant Integrity and Selection You need to select plant samples that have not been damaged by fungus or insects. If there are plenty of healthy samples, you should choose randomly as often as possible to let the collected seeds well reflect the character of the plant population. Confirmation of Seed Maturity Condition Seeds are most energetic during the natural scattering period. Therefore, they are better to be collected during that period to extend storage life. However, in case of leguminosae, it's suggested to collect them earlier than the natural scattering period because the pods might have opened and the beans may have already fallen to the ground. To confirm the maturity level of fruit of seed, you must observe attributes such as color, cracking, solidity, and dryness of the fruit or seed coat. In the early stage of seed maturation, the fruit is unripe, the inside of the seed is transparent, and the seed coat is light in color. It can easily be broken by hand and it contains a lot of moisture. In the mid-maturity stage, the fruit is still unripe. The seed coat color is light brown and it retains its shape when squeezed. The late maturation period is the natural dispersion period and is characterized by the spontaneous rupture of the seed coat. Evaluation of seed quality. Seeds integrity needs to be checked after seed maturity is determined. The cut test is a method to check the internal condition of a seed by cutting the seed vertically. It's useful for a simple confirmation of a seed's quality on site. If unripe, hollow, insect or fungus damaged seeds account for more than 30% of the collected seeds, more have to be selected. If you're not able to select other samples, increase the amount of seeds to be collected. The presence or absence of holers in the seed coat can help determine if the seed has insect damage. The amount collected depends on utilization purpose. The amount of seeds collected depends on the purpose, such as preservation or research. If it's possible to collect a sufficient amount, it's recommended to collect more than 10,000 pieces to utilize for diverse purposes. Ideally, it is suggested that 500 pieces are collected for basic collection against the reduction of a wild group population, 100 pieces for efficient germination protocol, 650 pieces for monitoring, long-term vitality of more than 200 years, at least 1,150 species for duplication and preservation in other seed banks. For redundancy purposes, 5,000 pieces for distribution to users and at least 2,500 pieces for future propagation and restoration studies. Identifying the number of collectible seeds. You can predict the total number of collectible seeds by multiplying the number of seeds per fruit by the number of fruits per individual 
and the total number of individuals. The safety limit of the amount of seeds collected has to be considered. If we put ourselves in plant's place, seed collection is derangement. Therefore, these activities should be implemented in a range of not affected to plant's growth and development and offspring genesis. Therefore, it's not recommended to collect more than 20% from an individual plant. Collecting Method Since the seeds of every plant come in various sizes and forms, the collecting method has to differ accordingly. Use shears when you collect fruit from tall trees that you can't reach. For seeds scattered by gravity, install a seed trap to collect them before they ripen and drop. There's a method of laying down big mats such as straw mats or tarpaulins and shaking the trees to make the seeds drop. For certain trees with substantial seeds undamaged by insects, you can pick up naturally fallen seeds from the ground, but it's not suggested. You can climb trees using ladders or ropes, but as this method is highly risky, only professionally trained people should do this. Reachable trees or herbs can be collected by cutting off a stem, branch or fruit with garden scissors. You can scrub out seeds of Graminea and Cyperaceae with your hands and put them in seed nets. Collecting Containers Collected seeds have to be stored in well-ventilated seed nets or cloth or paper bags. Avoid using poorly ventilated containers like plastic bags. Keep hook-shaped seeds that can possibly stick to cloth in paper bags. Fruit flesh is best stored in zipper bags so as not to leak. In case of long-term storage, there is a high possibility of fungal infestation, so sort them as soon as possible after collection. Record tracking table and field notes. After seed collection is finished, give each collection an identification number so it can be distinguished clearly and put in the collection container with a tracking table including identification number. Forms can be freely created and used by each institution and individual. It's important to record as much detail as possible in field notes because it's the best way to explain species, individuals, and natural environment, etc. Recorded based on an individual or population. Write it down so other people can recognize the scene through the field notes. Items that were not recorded on site must be added afterwards. Image and sound data collection. Image and sound data is useful to permanently store lively field information. When you collect image and sound data, it's important to observe targeted individuals' entire shape, reproductive organs, natural environment, etc. from various angles. Image and sound data is better to be collected in advance to record the natural state prior to the collection and confirmation sample. At this time, it's useful to record it with tracking table for easy image and sound data organization. Shoot video in high definition. Confirmation sample collection. The confirmation sample must be collected and pressed while collecting seeds because it is evidence of the relevant seeds and is a permanent record of the time and location of individuals or groups. Collecting activities require an excavating knife, shears, pruning scissors, and a collection container. Pressing the sample requires newspaper, field notebook, string, spill pads, and ventilated paper. The collection method can differ based on plant shape or character. The vegetative organ and reproductive organ must be included. In the case of trees, you need to collect leaves and reproductive organs including branches at least two year old. Herb collection must include the roots to the reproductive organs. For ferns, you need to collect stem, squama, leaves, and spores. 
When you collect a confirmation sample, select an individual that is able to represent the character of the group. Consider the size of the field node and prepare a separate collection envelope for each sample. Fill in the tracking tables with the collection numbers and attach them to each individual. Be careful, it does not easily fall off. To assure duplication and consideration of the fact that they are restored, researched and exchanged, collect at least two confirmation samples. Collected samples are best arranged and pressed as soon as possible within two days. Arrange and press samples on the day they are collected using newspapers and field notebooks on site. The newspapers used to press samples need to be replaced at least once a day. If arrangement and pressing immediately on site are impossible, store samples in a refrigerator so they do not go dry. That wraps up on-site collection.